It's more important than ever for teams to take ownership of the reliability of their services. This is especially true in distributed environments, like an e-commerce website that depends on services like inventory, shopping cart, and notifications. Today, we'll look at how to use data from a service mesh to understand traffic, error rates, and latencies in microservice applications with Stackdriver. This is The Stack Doctor. Developers use microservices to architect for portability, scale, and decoupling. This presents some challenges with operations and management. You have to manage all of the various services and understand the interactions between them. This is where a service mesh comes in. Let's take a look at how a service mesh and stack driver can work together to help us understand what's going on in a distributed application. To start, we need services. We'll use this application. It's a web store that sells really cool products. It also happens to be composed of a number of microservices written in a variety of languages. You can take a look at it for yourself in this GitHub repository. In a complex environment like this, how can we go about measuring reliability? This is where a service mesh is going to help us. But first, what is a service mesh? According to the Istio Open Source Project, a service mesh is used to describe the network of microservices that make up distributed applications and the interactions between them. The real value of a service mesh like Istio is that it enhances the security, reliability, and observability of services, which are not necessarily easy to do in Kubernetes without it. What does that mean for us? Well, let's take a look at what happens when we have our microservices application managed by a service mesh. First, let's create a GKE cluster with Istio already installed on it. Here's the command we'll use to create the cluster and enable Istio on it. This will automatically set up the Stackdriver adapter to send metrics, logs, and traces to Stackdriver. Now that the cluster is up and running, let's deploy our microservices application. Here are all the services that it creates. These services are instrumented with the proxy sidecar. The proxies send telemetry information to a component called Mixer, which in turn sends it to Stackdriver. Let's go there and see what new information is available. We'll start in the Metrics Explorer. If we search for Istio, we'll see all of the new metrics that are created by Istio for all of the services in the mesh. The first thing we want to do is to configure alerting using these metrics so that we can find out if any of our services have issues with performance or availability. First, let's create an alerting policy for front-end latency. We'll use the server response latency metric, filter it by destination service name for just our front-end, and further filter it by response code to just measure latency for successful requests. Now let's create another alerting policy for our front-end availability. This time, we'll use the server request count metric. We'll also filter it by destination service name for the front end, and then further filter it to only count responses that do not return a success. And there we go. Now we're using information from the service mesh to let us know when our front end service uh, experiences a degradation in either latency or availability. But what happens when we do get an alert that there's an issue and our service is degraded? If the problem has to do with latency, we'd want to start by looking at tracing. Well, the good news is that the stack driver adapter in the service mesh is not just sending metric data. It's also exporting traces. We don't need to do anything to instrument our code. The service mesh traces service to service calls for us and sends the data to the stack driver. On the other hand, if the problem has to do with availability or errors, we would want to have easy access to debugging information like logs. The service mesh is also exporting logs to stack driver. We can look at Kubernetes container logs for the proxy, for example, to see a record of all requests. If there are any issues we need to debug, this can be a great source of information. So thanks to the data being exported by the service mesh to stack driver, we've configured alerting on service availability and performance, looked at latency with traces, and dog into logs. Come back next time when we look at improving observability even further with custom metrics. That's it for this episode. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.